Hi guys, it appears to be a gorgeous spring day outside the window of Doomsday Trailer here on Saturday morning, April 19th, 2014. Another weekend of partying, kicking off here in the end times of South Austin, Texas. And so I'm doing this Saturday morning, what I do every morning is going on my email to see how this planet is diving deeper into the end times as it all unravels. Now this is not a picture of South Austin, Texas yet anyway. I guess this is a picture of Aleppo, Syria. This is what Aleppo, Syria looks like today as I don't even know what is going on here guys. It's just another day in the Mideast. And you better believe that the Mideast will continue. Well, I guess Sub-Saharan Africa will be the leader of the planet taking us into the end times. But the Middle East, right behind. But before I delve deeper into the mainstream media, let's leave this man to uh, run for his life and head over here to alternet.org to see what those lefties over here on alternet.org have on their minds and they kind of have on what my mind i just got the, the message that my rent has been raised on doomsday trailer from 250 to 300 dollars a month and i flip on alternet and see Five of the worst cities to be a renter unless you're fabulously wealthy. Rents in urban areas are skyrocketing. What's going on? I'm assuming that Austin, Texas is not in the top five yet. Anyway, uh, okay. From there, from skyrocketing rents to mental illness such as depression I anyone who doesn't understand those uh, those dots one more thing for me to be depressed about okay are addicts and the mentally ill responsible for their own behavior is it wrong to get angry at people suffering from mental problems like depression or addiction? Is it wrong? Well, uh, anyway, guys, I could go on to, uh, I see that I could go on to an entire rant, but I'm going to, maybe I'll talk about this next Thursday on my depressed collapsitarian chronicle rant where i talk about being depressed uh, in this in the reactions that you get from the rest of society but that'll be thursday okay from uh, depressed collapsitarians to eight terrifying facts about NSA surveillance, which is simply eight more reasons to be depressed. All right, now this certainly, uh, next story is of interest to Doomsday Prophets. I grew up in an apocalyptic Christian cult. The world did not end in 1993, as our cult leader predicted. So what happened next? It's not what happened next. It's what is going to happen next. I have mentioned many times that these apocalyptic Christian cults, I have more respect for them than I do for the vast majority of my clueless, lovable friends. Uh, these apocalyptic Christian cults know something that uh, the rest of us need to know. Okay, from those crazy Christians to Fox News. <clears throat> uh, here we go. 
the alternate talking about Fox. Fox News hero Cliven Bundy is a pampered millionaire, not a rugged rancher. Watching Fox rally to the defense of moneyed interests like mining and ranching is unbearable. Yep. Okay, from there to Tom Hartman. What is on that all lefty Tom's mind today? How America killed its middle class. We are heading into a world that looks like a Charles Dickens novel. There you go. From there to porno. Why I am both turned on and disgusted by porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, uh, porno is just one more thing I have let slide out of my own life. All right, from porno to Russia. A hot war with Russia is conceivable. The dangers are growing all the more real. There you go. Forget those cold wars. All right, from the budding war between the U.S. and Russia, let's go over there to Taco Bell, I guess. Eight foods that should not exist. I tried Taco Bell's breakfast menu so you don't have to. As I say, I've seen this thing before, this little sausage patty and eggs wrapped up in a waffle. Looks absolutely delicious. Okay, and finally, a story about air pollution in America. Dirty air is linked to asthma, kidney damage, heart disease, and cancer. There you go. I'm quite sure it is. So all of these stories are, I uh, see this little flapping t-shirt over here. Before, buy, before you die. There you go. Buy, before you die. There, I'm sure they're going to figure out some way for you to continue to buy after you die. So, uh, you better take advantage of your opportunity to buy before you die. All right, moving on over there to the mainstream media. Why am I not surprised to learn how many days after a ferry boat sank that the number one story on the mainstream media on planet Earth uh, today, five or six days after a ferry boat sank, that the number one story on the mainstream media is about a ferry boat that sank. All right, and then making the top three of cut above the fold, we have Barack Obama delaying the Keystone XL pipeline yet again. Uh, you know, I, I have mixed feelings on this. I, I'm just sounding like, I'm going to start sounding like one of these goddamn planet eaters from Trans Canada. It is time for Barack Obama simply to shit or get off the pot on this. Uh, so we can move along, and uh, I have always predicted that uh, Barack Obama is going to rubber stamp this thing. Anywho, I guess he's kicking the bucket, uh, kicking the can down the line a little longer while he makes up his mind. Here's... <coughs> One, uh, let's see, we do what you want with this headline from the end times. Japan expands its army footprint for first time in 40 years, risks angering 
China. There you go. Uh, we will see where where that one uh, all goes. Here's another story about the Central African Republic Wars. Yep. All right. What is going on over there with all these great economic sanctions against Russia as the Cold War or Hot War ramps up in Russia? You hear all of this horseshit about these economic sanctions against Russia. Well, what do you think Shell Oil has to say about that? Shell committed to Russia expansion despite sanctions. Royal Dutch Shell is committed to expansion in Russia and, and everywhere else on this planet. Uh, okay, as long as we're talking about Shell Oil, how about this one? Hidden in plain sight, the oil in our lives. Just, just this gentle reminder from the mainstream media. Anybody who thinks oil uh, is only, you only use oil when you tank up that gas-sucking car of yours, is just pointing out that, that this entire global industrial civilization is 100% dependent on oil. And that, uh, and, and that this, this whole joke of, of these renewable energy sources uh, do nothing, nothing towards taking the oil, the hidden oil, out of, of every single aspect of global industrial civilization. Anyway, from there to more, I guess we're having these giant earthquakes in Mexico, some other big-ass earthquake. While that one was going off in Mexico, we had another one, seven and a half, popping off over there in New Guinea. <coughs> there you go. Uh, so I guess if... As the earthquakes ramp up, this is one you better pay attention to. Elegant bathroom vanities for cheap. Yep, more earthquake stories. They're still talking about that mudslide over there in Washington. This, guys, might have to be my rant today. Uh... I love it. Right next to the Wayfair.com ad, right next to that, we have the story, What Liberals Get Wrong About Having Kids. Without immigration, the birth rate alone would not be enough to replenish the U.S. population, and in many developed countries, the population is shrinking. Hallelujah. Anyway, I might just have to make an entire rant about this bizarre article from this right-wing, whoever this guy is, this right-wing conservative columnist. Anyway, maybe I will just make that. I was going to talk about artificial intelligence, but instead I think I will talk about human stupidity. Anyway, from there they go in. There's uh, a story about chipping away at the Clean Water Act, or the weakening of the Clean Water Act. All right, then from there, more of these unadulterated horseshit stories about unemployment numbers. All right, finally, some good news from California. Hallelujah. California farmers to get more water. 
Drought-stricken California farmers and cities are set to get more water as state and federal officials ease cutbacks due to recent rain and snow. All right, that recent rain and snow. Bring it on. There's two stories about this, this, this two of them right in the same screen you will hear it and, and this I'm sure this might be my Tuesday wacky conspiracy theory story story number one nobody well let's do it uh, take these two let's reverse them okay story number one what the hell is this American plane owned by the bank of Utah doing in Iran? And then I guess the next story answers the question, nobody is sure how or why an American plane belonging to the Bank of Utah ended up in Iran in the Tehran airport. Uh, I, I would love to know the, wouldn't we all love to know why this private bankster, uh, this private jet owned by the Bank of Utah is flying into Tehran. Uh, the, the answer to that question has a hell of a lot to do with the end times, whatever the answer is. All right, and no, yes, tomorrow is Easter. Easter on 420. It will be a pot holy day tomorrow. Hallelujah, a pot holy day. Easter on 420. Next, an excellent uh, story, a very long, in-depth story. Uh, welcome to Ground Zero, literally, for sea level rise in North America. And it is not uh, New York City, it is not Miami. The Ground Zero for sea level rise is actually the coast of Louisiana, including New Orleans, that um, I guess the coast of Louisiana is losing 16 square miles of land per year. That was last year, 16 square miles of land went underwater last year, and that is growing with each year. So anyone who thinks that sea level rise is, is a problem for some island out in the middle of the South Pacific, I suggest you go to the state of Louisiana. From there to South Sudan. Gee, no shit. <clears throat> South Sudan Army battles rebels in worsening war. South Sudan's army said Saturday, said today, that they had lost communication with commanders battling rebels in a key oil state. Well, they are just lost communication. Right. Most of this I have talked about already. This is a story about that, the newest earthquake in New Guinea. Here's the latest story about that new Earth-like planet in the Goldilocks zone. Quest for extraterrestrial life not over yet. So, anywho's quote, unfortunately, the system, meaning the planet, is too far away and too faint to know more about whether there's, there's life over there. Okay, from planets in the Goldilocks zone, we have economic mainstream media news 
from the Goldilocks zone. I would suggest they send uh, that horse, those horseshit stories back to planets in the Goldilocks zone. DDT, more stories about the welfare rancher, Cliven Bundy. Here's one, uh, and, and I have no problem with this one. New Americans turn to goats to address food demand. And this is a story since, since Americans are not eating goats. They're, you know, talking about all these immigrants from Latin America and Africa moving to the U.S., and uh, ch chowing down on these little male goats. A hundred feet from where I'm sitting, we have four male goats. Four of our seven goats are males. Uh, I would absolutely love to uh, see one of those little guys barbecuing on, on a grill uh, today. You're damn straight. I would love to chow down uh, on that adorable little male goat. I think I might uh, get kicked out of my now $300 a month trailer. Okay. From eating delicious male goats to five unanswered questions about Jesus from LiveScience.com. This might this, this could be an interesting Easter 420 Easter rant tomorrow. These five unanswered questions about Jesus. I don't talk about Jesus much here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. However, I do talk about this a lot. Uh, what a surprise! This is Associated Press's review of the new auto show, Muscle Cars, out in force at New York Auto Show. Who says America has lost its muscle? There you go. Uh, talking about these gas guzzling. These aren't SUVs. These are, you know what a muscle car is. They are alive and well in the end times. Okay, I love this story. Uh, the, the latest story on the missing airplane. Malaysia asks world to pray for missing plane clue. A Malaysian official on Saturday asked the world to pray hard for a clue to help find Flight 370. There you go. Finally, an intelligent story on a missing airplane. Good Lord, what have I got? Six and a half minutes. Why kids are eating fewer school meals and wasting more? Probably because they taste like shit is my uh, guess. Alright. Have you saved enough to retire? According to Fidelity, you will need to put aside eight times your ending salary if you hope to fund your lifestyle for a 25-year retirement. Good Lord. Uh, moving on. I uh, don't have time to go into that rant. Um... Uh, more earthquake stories. Um, more sinking fairy stories. Let's see. I better jump ahead most of this, of course, I talked about yesterday. Here we go. Health Watch. Depressed Preschoolers. Researchers are discovering new insights about depression in preschool children. 
good lord, three years old, and I, I would be goddamn depressed if, if I was three years old looking ahead to what, could you imagine being three years old in the year 2014 and looking into your future? <clears throat> A couple of stories about this one. Sudden movement raises alarm in Wyoming slide area. A slow-moving landslide in the Wyoming resort town of Jackson sped up significantly Friday, splitting a house in two. So I guess all those millionaires with their little trophy homes in Jackson, Wyoming, are going oops and hopping in their little Cessna airplanes and flying off to the Tehran airport, I guess. I love this one. <clears throat> Senator Richard Blumenthal at a press conference on rail safety had a close call with a passing train. W wouldn't that have been wouldn't that have been absolutely the story of the year if this uh, millionaire senator had been run over by a train on a conference on a press conference on rail safety. All right, my old town of Homosassa, Florida, where I lived for several years, we find the story Man Smothered Crying Son Over Video Game. A Florida man suffocated his young crying son so he could play video games on his Xbox and watch TV. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, I, I better be real careful and just move along uh, from that one. Uh, all right, what have I got? A couple of minutes uh, left here. What else can I? Is there anything else after after that story about smothering the little bundle of joy so he could play his video games? Uh, dee, dee, dee. Okay, Hambone. I'm biting my tongue here. I need to find something else. Uh, all right. <clears throat> For anyone uh, suffering from some delusion that Japan uh, is, is stopped hunting whales, Japan to hunt fewer whales in Pacific this season. Japan will target fewer whales when its Pacific Ocean hunt begins next week. Japan will be out harpooning whales next week. Does anybody suffering the delusion that Japan has stopped whaling, please pull your head out of your ass. Here is man faces federal charges over soda refill. A Charleston construction worker is facing federal charges over a soda refill. He was unaware that refills were not free at the VA Medical Center and it cost him $525 fine and he was fired from his job for taking a free Coke from one of those uh, refill machines. Okay, and I need to wrap this up. So let's wrap it up right here. China says one fifth of its farmland is polluted. Faced with growing public anger about its poisonous environment, China's government released a study showing one 
fifth of its farmland polluted if the Chinese government is claiming one-fifth of its farmland is polluted I shudder to think what the real figure is but anyway I'm gonna wrap up this peek into the end times back over there in Syria here on April 19th 2014 and figure out what I'm gonna rant about Bye, guys.